Welcome to Daniel Reviews. I'm Daniel Goodwin, and today we're doing a quick preview of a new portable, somewhat portable, semi-portable uh, power station by NCURE. Let's get into it. So the reason this is a preview and not a review is, is basically because the NCURE FX 3800 is not widely available yet. So it's just been announced, and NCURE is rolling it out as a, um, as a, on Kickstarter. Uh, where you can back the product um, as an early release and you know they're going to be bringing it to market in January 2024. One, I really don't like an established company like Ankir and others who bring out their product using Kickstarter. Look, you are a large corporation, a global company, uh, tremendous amount in sales. You don't need a Kickstarter to get a new product off the line. You're, you're really <clears throat> using it as a marketing hype and, and trying to, you know, generate enthusiasm for a product that you're going to launch or you're not going to launch. And it has nothing to do with the Kickstarter campaign. I personally would prefer these large companies to stop using Kickstarter to, to launch their products. I think it's disingenuous. It takes away from the people who really do need Kickstarter to get a, a, a product up and running. And and it's, it's just kind of... Um, it's a little distasteful, so I will say that's my first thought is I don't like it. Two, if you are going to use Kickstarter, then you should at least give us the details we need to make an evaluation of what your product is, is, is going to be. They've started trickling things out, and, and, and there's a little more information now than there has been the past few weeks. But for a, a large part, I would say that, you know, <laughs> if you're going to run this and you want people to back and put money up, then you better give us all the details we need to know so that we can know what we're buying into, right? I think that's that's just reasonable. Be transparent. Okay, so let's dig into this just a little bit. Um, we here we have the Kickstarter campaign for the Anchor Solix F3800. I think it's the FX 3800 uh, in other places. Um, maybe I said that wrong. Might be just in my head. I guess it's just the F3800. But anyway, um, let's get into it. There has been more and more details uh, dripping out on this power station since it was first kind of teased. And it, we're starting to get almost a full picture of what uh, it offers. Um, so I'll just try to go through some of those things. It's not necessarily overly clear. Um, but is a single unit um, will provide an output of or a, a sustained output of 6,000 watts. And when it says to 12,000, that's if you have two units. Two units together can put out a sustained output of 12,000 watts, which is good. That is that is very good. No, no, um, you know, I don't have anything bad to say about that. Also, very cool single unit that does 120 volt or uh, single phase or 240 volt. Also awesome. There's two other on the market that I'm aware of that do that. The Zendur. Um, Super Base, I think, is uh, does 240 volt, but only, I think, 16 amp. This one, I think, does much more than that. Uh, we'll try to get into more details on that. Um, but I would consider it to be more of a true 240 volt out of a single unit. The other one that I'm aware of that does that is the Nature's uh, Generator, the power Powerhouse uh, unit. Uh, theirs does 240 volt, 30 amp output out of a single unit. So very cool. Also, it's expandable up to 53.8 kilowatt hours with the batteries. Um, looks like to me from this picture, that means three extra batteries per uh, F3800 unit. Um, I don't know why it's not expandable further. Uh, 53.8 is, you know, that's just what it adds up to be. Uh, I'm guessing that once you get more than three batteries per unit, it becomes difficult to, uh, to balance all of those batteries and keep their state of charge correct um so maybe that's what it is i'd i'd rather the uh, well i'll get into this in a, in a minute but well let's just talk about it now these batteries each of these extra batteries is three point um i believe eight i'll have to confirm that i think it's 3.8 um kilowatt hours so i mean you know you had three point maybe it's a little more than that but um not not a ton of capacity uh, certainly not uh, most server rack batteries, for example, um, are five kilowatt hours. So I don't understand why NCURE doesn't just offer a larger extended battery. 
um, if, if the, the number of three is kind of the limit, then maybe make bigger batteries instead of smaller batteries. That's an idea. All right. But anyway, that's your top limit. So you would have to get two F3800s and six batteries, and you could have 53.8 kilowatt hours of storage capacity. All right. Directly power an inlet box and more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Five-year warranty, 10-year lifespan. Um, you know, warranties are, are those kind of things that <laughs> yeah, you hope you don't have to use them, but if they are, then you, you know, they're only as good as the company that offers them. I think Ancure is a, you know, they're a large company. They, they should be able to honor that pretty well. Um, but time will see. And then, you know, directly power RVs, directly charge EVs. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Right. Like, well, a single F3800 isn't going to give you very much uh, on the EV, right? You know, 3.8 kilowatt hours of uh, storage capacity isn't going to give you much on an EV. But the point is you can do it. Cool. Um, more fast charging option. Okay, yeah, you can charge from the grid at 1,800 watts, it looks like. Uh, acceptable. Not amazing, but acceptable. It's fine. Um, here's I'm pretty disappointed in this. Uh, I'm going to call this out. Tw looks like 2,400 watts of solar input. Um, for a product being released in late 2023, early 2024, that's not nearly enough. That's disappointing. That's that's abysmal. And I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit more. Um, the Zindur um, Super Pro, I, I get the names wrong, but basically they're a competitor. They have 3,000 watts of charging. And I will say it's more useful because the Zindur has... 100 up to 100 volts uh, of DC and uh, uh, no 150 volts sorry and 20 amps whereas and we'll find this out I'll have to pull this up but the specs for the power uh, solar power for the anchor f3800 is only 60 volts at 25 amps that's really hard to come up with a solution of solar panels that will work. 60 volts is really low, really low, like disappointingly low. Um, and I know they say portable, like they're really intending this to be portable, but then they're also saying it's a, it's a home generator backup. It's kind of a, kind of a weird thing. So we're going to have to, now they have this family solar solutions, which I think they're going to, there's more to it, but what my point is, as a standalone unit, this is what you're working with, and it's going to take additional units and things to uh, to bring this in. So uh, there more more details coming, right? <clears throat> but I'm very disappointed in this number and and the specs around it. Okay, so I, we'll we'll go on from here. All right, we got some wonderful blurbs from Newsweek, trusted reviews, digital trends, you know. Oh, yeah, most powerful portable battery, uh, blah, 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 right? Yeah, um, it, it's fine. Uh, these people don't necessarily deal with this on a day-to-day -day basis, so they just, they're just taking the, the marketing points that they get and, um, you know, hyping yeah. it up, right? So let's go a little bit further, right? <clears throat> I'm going to skip some of <coughs> the typical hype. I got amused at this little illustration here. I think they're greatly hyping <laughs> how convoluted things can be, and they certainly can be. Um, but these aren't just as simple as it shows here either. So um, you're certainly not going to be having a home power system with a single F3800 unit. That's just that's not going to last very long at all. But um, let's go into it. All right, so. 6,000 to 12,000 watts that powers it all, you know, okay, very good stuff. Um, and they're showing you, oh, if you have one unit, 6,000 watts, you can run your central air conditioning. Uh, you can do a coffee maker and maybe a bread maker. Well, <laughs> yeah, they're right. On, these numbers are pretty good, 4,000 for central AC. Well, when you got a 3,800 uh, uh, watt battery, you're not going to run it very long. You run both of these things, you'll be out of power in about 20 minutes, maybe 30, uh, if you're if you're stretching it. Um, so, yeah, you can run these things, but you're going to need a lot of extra battery capacity if you want to run them for very long. And here's the 12,000 watt, uh, you know, whatever. It's fine. The dual voltage. Yeah, this is cool. It's awesome that they have dual voltage. I'm on board with it. I'm here for it. Um, and yeah, these are the kind of things that you can do with it. 
This is very misleading. Backup power for two weeks with 54 kilowatt hours? No, <laughs> not for a typical home. Now, if you go on an emergency, you know, and you're just running lights and maybe your internet, then yeah, you could last. But there is no way most homes in America only use 3.8 kilowatt hours a day. That's my typical day. It, it can range pretty different from summer and winter, but like not on average is more like 30 kilowatt hours a day if you're wanting it, this as a home solution some people already understand that i'm just trying to tell you if, if you're thinking oh i'll buy this generator and i've got you know it'll back me up for you know weeks or whatever no it won't um unless you're being very very stingy with your usage here you know just says they're using lfp batteries 3000 cycles that's pretty standard yeah that's probably quite true um, and then, you know, it talks about how it can integrate with uh, the grid and the, all good stuff, right? Like these are things that are useful and, and what you want, um, you know, they keep going through this fine. Everything's good. Um, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. I already talked about it, but here's, here's where they're a little clear on this, right? Um, I mentioned above with the unit itself, you're only going to get 2,400 Watts of charging and, um, I can't find the specs, but I, I've seen it that the specs is around 60 volts total max and then 25 amps in so that's very hard to work with with the unit what they really are wanting you to do is to buy this home power system that allows you another well maybe not another i think in place of 3800 watts uh, in place of the 2400 which gives you you know a little more um you know better input but not great and uh, I don't believe that these are, you can do these simultaneously. So it's not like you get 2,400 and 3,800. Uh, but even if you did, it would be very hard to find an array that works for the 2,400 and then a different type of array with the 3,800. So, ugh, don't like that. <laughs> um, let's see. Potentially you could have... Yeah, I, I don't know. Anyway, we'll, we'll get more details on that. Here they talk about their lineup and whatever, but they're they're really pushing the home uh, power panel, uh, which is kind of like Echo Flow's um, smart home panel. It does the automatic circuit switching, but it also, in this case, it looks like it brings in the, um, the 3800 of solar input, you see. Uh, so they're kind of done a different take on that. Um, the smart home panel has nothing to do with the input from solar uh, for EchoFlow, but looks like their um, home power panel for Encure does. And that's kind of an interesting idea. Um, I don't like these numbers. Not great, but it might be interesting um, with the 6,000 watt max. All right. Moving on shows how you can integrate your home. You know, there, there's a lot here. It, nothing groundbreaking at the moment at least that i see then you get into the specs the batteries each battery is 3.8 um, kilowatt hours would love to see that more i don't understand why they're kind of revolving around that 3.8 number particularly if if the limitation is you can only have three batteries per unit then i'd love to see this as a much larger number but that's just me and then here's the home power panel this is obviously quite uh, critical if you want to integrate this into your your home system and um, you know it'd be interesting to see the pricing on this unit as well as you can either do these these circuits 12 circuits or 10 circuit transfer uh, we'll, we'll get into that that's fine okay now we're getting into the rewards the Kickstarter part of this which is if you basically if you come in early you can secure this um, special pricing again I think this is not the intended purpose of Kickstarter, but I'm not going to get off on that tangent. I'll try not to get onto that tangent anyway. Um, some of these are already used up, and uh, you can't, you know, like this one here, for example, is already already filled up, and you can't get it anymore. And it was um, some of them are better than others, I would say myself, but of what's available if you are interested in this um there is the this package here for 25.99 which gives you one f8 3800 
um, along with a couple of accessories and whatnot. But actually, let me just see if I can switch over here. It's a little clear as far as what you get. Um, so you get a three port solar charging connector. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm just not going to go in there. Um, let me show you the one that is probably still the best, if uh, I think it's still available. Um, no, it's already, it's already filled up. So this was the best one that they had, which is basically a unit for $21.99. That's a good price for a unit that has 3.8 kilowatt hours of storage, 6,000 output, you know, etc. 45% off. That was a good good deal. Um, if you're looking for something else like the home kit and two F3800s at 5949, like <clears throat> that's fine. It's, it's not a bad price, but there's a lot of things we don't know yet. We don't know how this home power panel works and, and the backup load circuit. You're definitely going to need probably an electrician to do this. And uh, there's just no reviews on this yet. So it's difficult to pony up this kind of money without knowing more about it and um, for me the big concern that i have again is the um solar panel uh array for the f3800 by itself if you don't use the home panel then um i feel like your solar uh input is pretty rough here here's the thing in case anyone was wondering it can support 11 to 60 volts with a XT60 connector, um, while a, well, you can read this, while a 32 to 60 volt charger supports 25 amps. This is really hard to, to make panels work with this. Um, pretty much guarantees you're going to have to put things in parallel. Um, and, you know, just, yeah, very disappointing. Very disappointing. I, I don't, I was not thrilled with that at all. Okay, this will wrap up that video. Hopefully I've shared with you some of my thoughts on the new NCARE FX3800. I think there's still a lot more information that we need to know. And, um, you know, that's going to just come out in time between now and in allegedly January of 2024. But you maybe are interested. Might be something to put on your radar if you're thinking about, um, you know, a, a power station to power your home. Uh, I think there's there's some interesting items there. There's some things that I don't like, and, and I've, I've mentioned that, but uh, something to consider, and, and of course we'll want to watch as more detailed reviews come out. Thanks for watching. I'm Daniel Goodwin. I'll see you in the next video.